Hello and welcome to another video of Fault Code Troubleshooting Guide from Automotive Diagnosis YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to test and fix mass air flow meter sensor fault codes, which are P0101, P0102, and P0103. Please stay with us until the end of the video, and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. At first, I will show you the math sensor wiring diagram, and all possible causes for this fault codes. I will also check the sensor signal in different engine RPM, using a scan tool. Then I will check the sensor power supply. Next step would be checking the sensor output signal when engine is running. And I also check the signal circuit. And at the end, I will show you how to test the other wiring of the sensor harness. Let's start. Mass air flow sensor is located right after the air filter and measures the intake airflow. It measures the airflow by measuring how much current is being used by the hot film element to maintain the temperature constant. As airflow keeps cooling down the hot film element. Therefore, the more airflow, the more cooling effect on the MAF sensor, so it must consume more current to stay at the constant temperature. Data from this sensor is one of the important inputs to the ECM to calculate the injection timing. Inside the mass airflow sensor, there are actually two sensors. Mass airflow sensor. And intake air temperature sensor. And because most of the time there are five wires on this sensor's harness, three wires are for the MAF sensor, and two others are for the air intake temperature sensor. So, as soon as you turn the ignition on, you have the power supply on the sensor, which is battery voltage. And when engine is running, sensor keeps sending the signal to the ECM, to show the air mass entering the engine. Signal voltage will change according to the engine RPM and load, so we must check the voltage change to ensure that the sensor is working properly. Before I show you how to test the sensor signal change on the scan tool, check here to see how sensor shows the airflow rate when engine is running at idle, at acceleration, and when it is faulty. As you see, when sensor is faulty, it shows zero for the airflow rate when engine is running which is incorrect. Let's connect the scan tool to see the signal voltage. I connect the scan tool, select the car and model, then in the systems I select the engine. I am going to check the signal value so I will go to the live data stream, and I will select three required data, which are engine speed, math sensor signal, and airflow rate. As you see in the workshop manual, sensor voltage must be around 0.4 volt when ignition is on but engine is not running, so this is pretty much what I have. Then I start the engine to check the signal at idle. Workshop manual says that the sensor signal voltage at idle must be between 0.9 to 1.3 volt, so I guess I am getting the same voltage from this sensor at the moment. Let's go to the next step, 
I am going to check the sensor output voltage at 2500 engine RPM, and according to the workshop manual, I should get between 1.4 to 1.9 volt from the sensor. This sensor is working properly till now. And the last step is to increase the engine RPM to 4000, An output voltage must be between 1.3 to 2.4 volt. So all good. This is how we check the sensor output voltage using the scan tool. Let's go to the next step. It is not a bad idea to remove the sensor itself and check it visually. We want to make sure that the sensor is not visually damaged and all pins are in good shape. You also can check the sensor elements that you see here, make sure they look good and they are not broken. Let's check the sensor power supply. As I told you before, math sensor gets battery voltage as soon as you turn the ignition switch to on position. So, find the relevant pin according to your car, and check the power supply using a multimeter as shown here. If voltage is zero or very low, you must check the power circuit wiring. Anytime you are checking the wiring, use these test probs, so you will not damage the wiring and pins. I got the battery voltage here, showing that the power supply is fine. So, I can go to the next step. Now, I am going to check the sensor signal. At first, I will check the sensor signal by back probing. I insert the test prop to the signal pin, then I start the engine to see what is the sensor output at idle. As you may remember, I should get between 0.9 to 1.3 volt on this car. This test is testing the sensor operation. If you don't get the good signal, it means that the sensor itself could be faulty. For testing the short to ground on the signal circuit, remove the connector from the sensor and ECM, then check the continuity between the signal circuit and body ground. If continuity is existed, it means that signal circuit is shorted to ground and it must be fixed. As you see, I got zero reading and not continuity, meaning that the wire is not shorted to the ground. The next step shows you how to check the open circuit on the signal circuit. For doing this, when both ECM and sensor connectors are disconnected, check the continuity between sensor harness connector and ECM harness connector. Continuity must be existed, and resistance must be less than 1 ohm, to show that you do not have an open circuit on the signal line.
If you have checked everything so far, and you have not found the fault yet, you must check the ground circuit, or you must check to make sure that the math sensor wires are not shorted to each other. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please don't forget to check and subscribe the channels for more videos.